morning prayer for Thursday the 23rd of December. A Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence. That we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 130 My soul waits for the Lord. Out of the depths have I cried to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to mark what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him, in his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than the night watch for the morning, more than the night watch for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. My soul waits for the Lord. Father, we commend to you your faithful love those who are crying from the depths. Help them to watch and pray through their time of darkness in sure hope of the dawn of your forgiveness and redemption. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The New Testament reading is Matthew 23, beginning to read at verse 1. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore do whatever they teach you and follow it, but do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on the shoulders of others, but they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have the place of honour at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues, and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces, and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all students, and call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. 
nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who will exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exhausted, exalted. Now it is time to wake out of sleep. For the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. For the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. For the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. For the night is far spent and the day is at hand. The Benedictus in which we share Zechariah's praise of God for the dawning of the light of salvation. Like the sun in the morning sky, the Saviour of the world will dawn. Like rain upon the meadows, the Christ will come down upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Like the sun in the morning sky, the Saviour of the world will dawn. Like rain upon the meadows, the Christ will come down upon us. Christ, for whom there was no room in the inn, give courage to all who are homeless. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, who fled into Egypt, give comfort to all refugees. In your mercy, Hear our prayer. Christ, who fasted in the desert, give relief to all who are starving. In your mercy. Hear our prayer. Christ, who hung in agony on the cross, give strength to all who suffer. In your mercy. Hear our prayer. Jesus said, Listen, the time will come, indeed it has come already, when you are going to be scattered, each going his own way and leaving me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you all this, so that you may find peace in me. In the world you will have hardship, but be courageous, I have conquered the world. Dear Lord, help us recall friends and acquaintances who may be alone and in isolation, so that we can show them that they are loved and will always never be forgotten. In your mercy. Hear our prayer. O God of many names, lover of all nations, we pray for peace in our hearts, in our home, in our work, in our nations, in our world. The peace of your will, the peace of our need. In, in your mercy. Hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy for ever. Amen. And the Collect of the Day, God our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son, grant that as she looked for his coming as our Saviour, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again as our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.